Today I'm going to be showing you guys some of the best cheap games on Steam. And by cheap, I mean $10 and under. First up, we have Pico Park. Now, Pico Park is a cooperative puzzle game that you can play with your friends. You control a group of up to 10 tiny characters, and you must work together to solve a series of puzzles. Each level requires coordination and cooperation between players to succeed. The game only costs $5 and has received mostly very positive reviews on Steam. The levels in Pico Park are pretty diverse and range from moving blocks to jumping over obstacles and pressing buttons in the right order. The puzzles start off relatively easy, but as you progress through the game, they get more challenging and require more teamwork and communication to solve. Playing Pico Park with friends is fun, but it can also be a little frustrating at times, especially when someone keeps messing up and causing the group to fail. However, that's all part of the experience and the feeling of satisfaction you get when you finally complete that difficult level with your friends is totally worth it. Pico Park is also cross-platform, so you can connect and play with friends no matter what device they're on. This next game, Super Flight, is pretty awesome considering it costs about the same as a bad cup of coffee at only $3.39 and and has an overwhelmingly positive rating. In this game, you play as a daredevil who flies through landscapes in a wingsuit. The gameplay is simple, but it requires some skill and strategy to succeed. You must fly close to objects such as rocks, cliffs, and buildings without crashing to score points and unlock new levels. The game's difficulty gradually increases as you progress, adding to the sense of achievement when you successfully complete a level. What I love about this game is the simplicity of the gameplay. It's easy to pick up and play, but it's also challenging enough to keep you coming back for more. Superflight also features a level editor, allowing you to create and share your own levels with others. This really adds to the game's replayability. Additionally, there's a leaderboard where you can compete with other players and see who has the highest score. If you're a fan of the classic cartoon series Garfield, then you're gonna love this game. Garfield Kart is a kart racing game that features all of your favorite characters from the Garfield universe. Each character has their unique set of carts and abilities that will give you an edge in the race. It's pretty similar to other kart racing games and has things like power-ups throughout the race to give you advantages. The game has several modes, including Grand Prix, Time Trials, and Single Race. The Grand Prix mode is where you can compete against other players in a series of races to see who can come out on top. The Time trial mode allows you to test your skills and see how fast you can complete a course and the single race mode is perfect for those who just want a quick race against the computer or a friend. Garfield Kart only costs $5.49 and has a very positive rating on Steam. If you're a fan of Garfield then definitely check this one out. This next game Beam Battles is only $1 and has very positive reviews. This game is a battle royale where you obviously play and fight against other beams. There's also other game modes including Zombie in King of the Hill. In Zombie mode you play as a zombie bean and try to infect other players while avoiding being shot down. In King of the Hill, you compete to hold on to a designated area on the map for as long as possible. It might not be the best best game, but since it's only a dollar, I thought I'd throw it on this list. Next, we have the game Armored Head, which is the shooter game where you play as a robot with an armored head that can shoot lasers and rockets. You're tasked with fighting off waves of enemies that come at you from all directions. You can equip your robot with different guns such as machine guns, shotguns, and even flamethrowers. You can also unlock different abilities that will give you an edge in the battle such as shield or speed boost. Armored Head also has several different game modes including survival, defense, and boss battle. In survival mode, you fight off waves of enemies for as long as possible. In defense mode, you protect a base from incoming enemies. In boss mode, you face off against powerful bosses. Armored Head is $5.69 and has a rating of overwhelmingly positive. Next up is Stick Fight, which is a multiplayer game where you play as a stick figure and battle against other players in quick paced action packed matches. The controls in Stick Fight are straightforward and easy to learn with just a few buttons for moving, jumping and attacking. The game right now has around 100 maps to play and over 23,000 player made maps, so you're definitely not going to run out of fresh new levels to play on. With that, there is obviously a level editor as well, so you can create and share your own map designs. Stick Fight is just $5.49 and has a very positive rating on Steam. Next, we have the first person shooter game Bright Memory that costs $9 and has very positive reviews. The game takes place in a futuristic world where a strange phenomenon has caused various ancient creatures and high-tech machines to appear. You play as Sheila, a member of the Supernatural Science Research Organization, tasked with investigating and stopping this phenomenon. You have access to a variety of weapons including guns, swords, and supernatural powers. One of the things I love about Bright Memory is its unique combination of modern technology and ancient mythology. The game features a 
mix of high-tech weapons and gadgets with creatures and gods from various mythologies influenced by Chinese mythology and culture. The game's story is engaging and keeps you hooked from start to finish. The gameplay itself is a lot of fun, with a mix of first-person shooter mechanics, action-adventure elements, and hack-and-slash gameplay. The controls are smooth and responsive, and the level design and graphics is very well crafted. Next, we have the game Getting Over It, which is a 2D platformer that puts you in the shoes of a man who is stuck in a cauldron and has to climb a mountain using a sledgehammer. The game is all about physics-based climbing, and it's incredibly challenging. The controls are simple. You move the sledgehammer around to climb the mountain. However, the physics are what makes the game so difficult. It's easy to get stuck in a crevice or slide down the mountain, and you have to use a lot of patience and skill to make progress. You're probably going to get re set a lot and it's gonna make you rage. Getting over it is a challenging and frustrating game but it's also incredibly rewarding. It's a game that will test your patience and skill and it's definitely worth checking out if you're a fan of challenging platformers. The game is just $9 and has a rating of very positive. Lastly, we have the fairly popular game Geometry Dash that costs $4.49 and has very positive reviews. The objective of the game is to navigate through each level by jumping over obstacles and avoiding hazards such as spikes and obstacles that can instantly kill you. The levels are set to music and you must time your jumps and movements to the beat of the music to progress. Geometry Dash features a total of 21 levels, each with its own unique soundtrack and challenges. In addition to the main levels, the game also includes custom levels that can be created by players using the in-game level editor. One of the most notable features of Geometry Dash is its high level of difficulty. The game requires precise timing and quick reflexes to complete, and it can take many attempts to master each level. However, the game features checkpoints that allow you to continue from a certain point in the level if you die. There's definitely a lot of great options when it comes to cheap games, lots with great reviews and ratings. Speaking of great reviews, if you want to see an assortment of overwhelmingly positive rated Steam games, then click the video on screen now.